in this video we're going to focus on actually creating a wp form right so it's a contact form so here we go so make sure you have created a contact form on your website right either it can be wordpress elementor whatever you know what you did <laughs> so we have to actually go to our, our dashboard right where we're going to go straight to our plugins and add a new plugin which we're going to be using in this case is of course it's called wp forms the first one which is going to show up from w wp forms is the one which you're going to install and what activate it after activating the plugin right we're going to go to the left side of the screen go under w forms and we're going to create our new what form so under wp forms right we're going to go where it says add new where we're going to create a new form right then it's gonna load up and now the thing the customization begins so i'm going to click where it says a blank form right click on it this is what i'm going to be using and i want to drag and drop the information that we require from a user to actually submit to us right then i'm going to actually need, require that person's name drag and drop that person's email drag and drop that person's phone number do i know i need a message box right which will be the message so in this part of the video we want to actually customize or actually configure our what our form to actually send the notification to what to our email and the person who just submitted the email right so what we're going to do right is go under settings then click where it says notifications then we now need to configure everything so on this notification default notification right what we need to do is actually include our email address yes this is admin email then we actually want the notification to be sent to the what to the user that so that he knows he or she knows that his email has been sent then i'm going to click where it says comma and i'm going to actually what add that person see what email so our email this is the admin and field id 2 is the what the user's email then we want to actually give a subject line that we're going to see on our side and the person's side so i would actually say contact what contact form so it was a contact form i would understand contact form is from what from what from my web, web page then i'm going to say what um i might say bonus.com or just leave it like contact form right it would be fine then the name that is who was the sender of the notification what bonus.com was the sender of the notification which is okay can i actually make it enlarge so that it can be actually different from other emails bonus.com just like this then the message is coming from what from bonus.com it may be admin at bonus.com yeah but now let's say you face this issue where it says the current form from I email mean, it does not match your website domain to actually solve this right you need a what a domain a custom domain and it will save your emails to go, not to go to the what to the spam area so now in order to sell to save this what you can do right is go on what uh bonus.com slash okay not dot, dot com slash hosting then click then it would direct you to this site where you're actually going to what log in and get your what your email created so for me actually created an email called no reply which i'm actually going to actually what log in into so this is the email no reply at bonus.com so what i'm going to do right is i'm going to go under what our website what let me say bonus.com then i'm going to go under what i'm going to do right is actually go under our dashboard then go under settings so that i can actually change this administration email address into what no reply at bonus.com then i'm going to click where it says click save and after saving 
we would receive an email very soon that requires us to confirm the new email so we see we have received it i'm going to actually go and click this link copy here and say go to this link and it has been verified now this is our new admin email so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to the here i'm going to click where it says save right then i'm going to refresh the page and go under notification that error message has been removed that's the important part that went well so now on this section right we're going to focus on what email confirmation right so the confirmation message is actually sent within the website so it's gonna say after you fill up the form right it's gonna say thank you for actually contacting us i will be in touch with you shortly so i'm going to remove we and i'm going to put i uh, you can actually customize the way you want then i'm going to click what um save right everything saved then now the interesting part is actually what configuring what the w form to be within a web page so i'm going to come here right i'm going to say click what says embed i'm going to use short code i'm going to copy this short code then because you you have your what your contact page i'm going to go and go to mine i'm going to click here contact page edit with elementor right now that is loading we're going, going into element i'm actually going to add a container okay wait can i add the container i'm looking for it this i'm going to click add container now i'm going to click on add new container i'm going to click flex box i'm going to click this one direction column yeah then i'm going to call, come here and click here then i'm going to look for what short code short code i'm going to drag and drop on this space and i'm going to come to the left side of the screen and paste what paste the code now our contact form is being shown then you click where it says update which is okay after updating now we want to actually what review our page this is our contact form page contact page and this is the things which we have now um, i actually want to actually divide the screen so that we fill in and test whether it's it is working so i'm going to do this right so now i'm going to act like i'm a user which who is gonna send a message so here the first field i'm going to actually write my name then my surname then my email address for this for the sake of the tutorial yep tunzi add okay wait edge then i'm going to write my custom message I. offer right then now i'm going to actually click the submit button and see if it is working if not then you see the confirmation message has been sent and now we're waiting for confirmation emails to be sent yes we have received to gmail and yes we have received to our admin email then i'm going to click on it as you can see okay let me click gmail double click there it is so the name is sent here as you can see there is the person's name there's the email then there's the paragraph which you can actually customize maybe to say message then there is this this is the message and we also received the same message here which is good which is good and our contact form is working so we managed to actually reach to the end of a what of our tutorial about how to actually configure a what the wps oh my god the wp forms and it worked everything works well you want a hosting or a domain go to the link which is provided you need a tutorial on how to actually create a contact form everything is here on this channel if not go and look for other channels that contains the things thank you for watching i appreciate it bye for now